Welcome to Hammerin's Renovation. I just spent some time with a really, really nice fellow. His name was Crew. And he had this set of tires sitting right back there, if you look over my shoulder. And they're on Super Duty wheels. Came off of 01, so they should bolt right up to the excursion. And I want to conduct a couple tests. I'm running 33 inch right now, some 285 75 16s. And these are 265 75 16s. Now that size is what came on the excursion when it was new. And I'm wondering, will they handle better? Will they provide more torque? Will they provide better fuel economy? Which is kind of a joke when you drive an excursion. But I'm curious, um, considering going down a size, now these tires are seven years old, so I don't know how long I will run them, but they are the uh, stock kind of gray finish uh, steel wheel, and I'm going to uh, paint them. I'm going to black them out, and I'm going to put them on the excursion and see how they feel, how's it handle, and I'm interested to see. Hope you come along with me on the journey. Crew, I appreciate it. I'm gonna uh, use these wheels I got from you for this video. Stick around. So another one of the things I'm wondering is will the drone change its RPM range right now between 45 and 57 in fourth gear. It's pretty loud and I don't know if it's coming through over the video right now but I'm uh, doing 50 and it's, uh, it's pretty loud. So I'm wondering if the smaller tires will change that RPM range or that speed range. So I'll be getting on the interstate in just a minute and see what it does. So here are the tires I got yesterday. These things have a lot of tread. I checked the date code. It's 48th week of 2016. So they are not quite seven model years old. So they may have a little life left in them. I think it's time to get them cleaned up. Sand off some of this rust. I got some matte black spray paint I'm gonna put on them, and uh, maybe get them put on the car today. So I wanted to show you the tires that I'm running right now. I have been running since 2019, and talk a little bit about them before I switch them out. Now this is Black Lion Veracio AT BA80 Plus. Yeah, that's a mouthful. But these are. 285 75 16s and this is my spare and I had a flat so I went ahead and put my spare on because this is the stock tread depth that you get and this is the tread after 56,000 miles now I didn't expect them to last that long being load range E running 80 PSI towing road tripping and all that uh, really impressed with them but I am a little disappointed that I can't find them now so were the tires just so good that they got bought out by a bigger company and discontinued I don't know I would love to have another set they lasted way longer than I thought they would and was able to put a lot of miles on them in only a couple of years and they still got okay tread 
Um, but unfortunately, can't find black lion voracios anywhere online. And I've looked at all the major people, all the local stores. Uh, may can find some that are very small, but it's just a limited quantity. So limited size to choose from. So I'm going with these uh, Firestone Transforce over here. Like they cleaned up pretty good. Had hubcaps on them, so I got a little bit of sanding to do, get it back smooth, and paint them up. These things don't look real big laying on the ground, but they are. I got them cleaned up a bit. I found something that may make their use on my car short-lived because uh, don't matter how much tread you got your side wall starting to crack it's not gonna be good this is the other pair and then this one has some more of that too so not as bad as the first one I showed Got most of that rust off. I'm gonna wipe them down. This is what I'm gonna use. Let's see how it does. got done being sprayed it's supposed to be a uh, matte black finish this is side by side we'll check them out when they are dry this stuff does a pretty good job no runs no drips no errors matte black one can two coats on a set of wheels they're not done drying yet so they're still kind of shiny So the wheels are dry, and here is a before, and here is an after. What you think? Improvement? Not so much. Now, I've known I needed to replace my tires. Probably going on a year now. So I've been looking, looking online, mainly on Marketplace. Like maybe trying to find an F250, F350, a newer model. Now in 05, they changed the hubs. Um, and so if you'll notice when you look at the early 2000s that the uh, wheels, the lugs are inset and on 05 and later, they're flush with the outside of the tire. That doesn't work well for an excursion or uh, any F250s up to the 04 model because you have to run spacers or it looks like you're riding on pizza cutters. And so I don't desire to push my tires out past the body. Um, I, I just, that isn't a look I like and I don't want to be one of those guys that's got wheels hanging out of their fender well. It's just not what I care for. So I think I'm just gonna rock these black wheels with these smaller tires and take it for a ride Let's see if it acts any different now. So, my uh, unscientific test, just basically uh, doing a stopwatch, zero to 60, and then a camera zero 
or 60, uh, both with the 285s and now with the 265s, and it looks like it's about two seconds faster with the 265s. Um, can that be right? I mean, it, it feels quicker, and I guess the smaller diameter puts more torque down. thing I won't have to deal with is the AC compressor having issues um, however I got a compressor right there waiting to go alternator and a starter those came off that F350 that I did an engine swap on and so yeah I hung on to them if they work well, I'll get rid of them so this video has been about swapping tire sizes, going down a size. And right now I don't have these on. So what you think? Should I put these on? And then it's black wheels with a little bit of chrome in the center. Or just leave it black hubs, black lug nuts, black wheels, black tires. I don't know. I don't know which I want. I'm not getting rid of them, but uh, tell me in the comments, which thing looks better? with or without. So I think I've come to the end of this video. Right here is my tower of tires and wheels. And you can see, like I showed you a little earlier, these black lines, they did pretty good on wear. They range from uh, 50 to 80 pounds, depending on if I was towing or just 
riding. And that's what they look like new. And that tire there probably has 250 miles on it. So if anybody knows what happened to Black Lion, did they get bought out? Are they out of business? Um, somebody bought a company and shelved their merchandise. I like the tires. They've done great traveling for football games and basketball games. And I mean, they weren't noisy. They handled good. Um, they didn't wear uneven. I kept them rotated. And you can see they're about even all the way down. So I just wonder what happened to them. Because I sure would have liked to buy another set. So this is Skip Hammer Wrench Renovation. Thank you for uh, watching. And uh, I mean, it's just about tires this time. And I hope to not be making a video of me swapping out an AC compressor. Maybe it's just because it was so hot today. Um, it's possible. It's always something. Take care. We'll see you next time.